Have you fallen in love with one of those perfect model homes in a new construction neighborhood? Duh. <laughs> I love them too. Hey guys, my name is Omar Pineda with EXP Realty. Buying a resale house versus new construction are very different processes. Having worked closely with many professionals in the business and hearing some horror stories, I know how important it is to hire the right realtor who specializes in this category and can save you time and money. Not to mention, allow you to focus on more important things going on in your life. Oh, that sounds good. Yes, real estate agents represent buyers all the time on newly constructed purchases. It can be overwhelming for you when you visit a brand new, gorgeous community go into a model home and everything is checking your boxes. The builder sales reps are nothing but nice, answering all your questions and you feel like you finally found the one. The last thing I want is for you to get buyer's remorse because you paid too much for an upgrade or a builder didn't honor the warranty like they promised. The thing is, it's easy to fall in love with a brand new house because everything appears to be perfect at first. But one thing after another can quickly turn your dream home into a nightmare without a realtor in your corner advocating for you. Which leads me to my next question. Does the builder or builder sales reps have your best interest at heart or are they looking to maximize their bottom line? Many realtors like myself are familiar and specialize in new construction and our input is extremely important and can save you a lot of money because we have a fiduciary obligation to you as licensed real estate agents and our job is to protect you and your hard-earned money. That's me. That's definitely me. Where do I sign? Having someone on your side representing your best interests, not the builders, is of great importance. It doesn't cost you money because your agent's fees are paid for by the builder. As a matter of fact, you'll most likely end up paying more without representation because of what you simply don't know. Another important consideration is understanding the different costs of new construction. We've all seen the sign by the road that says, new homes starting in the mid 450s. Then when you go to the model home, everything available is priced closer to 600,000. That's because the advertised price is for the cheapest model with no upgrades or lot premium. Moving on to construction options. Does the builder offer a bonus room option or the option to change a living room to a den or the extended master bathroom? If so, these options typically almost always cost more and will increase the price of your home. What's next? Okay, stop grinning. Okay, now for the fun ones. Cosmetic options. Going to that design center to pick out your floors and cabinets can be the highlight of the building process. But you can also get a big dose of sticker shock. So compare what their cost will be in comparison to having a third party do the upgrades and don't forget you're paying the interest for the lifetime of the loan on all these fancy upgrades. Check out the next video with a few more things you need to know when purchasing new construction. I hope this information helps all of you out there thinking about buying a new construction home. As always, I'm Omar Pineda and allow me to elevate your lifestyle.